Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the, this beautiful place on this beautiful occasion, the wedding of Zachary Saltzman and Gabriela Simonovska. Please be seated. Each of you is here by Gabby and Zach's invitation because you hold a special place of love and honor in their lives, and now they want to share with you this very special moment in their life together. As we celebrate with them this gift of marriage, we open wide our own hearts to give thanks for the worldwide human urge to create deep friendships, loving unions, and extended families. The first story in the Bible places Adam and Eve in another beautiful garden to cultivate not just the plants around them, but even more the seeds of holy relationship within them. One of the last stories of the Bible pictures heaven as the locale for an eternal wedding banquet in honor of the Lord Jesus and his bride, the Universal Church. In between those two stories, we read in the Bible numerous encouragements and instructions for a good and happy married life. All of this in harmony with countless other spiritual traditions all around the world and down through all the centuries. Thank you for coming to share this very special moment in Zach and Gabby's life. And now I invite you please to join me in prayer. O oh God of all of life, your presence makes every situation happy, and your favor blesses every relationship. Be present now with Zach and Gabby, and smile upon them with your favor, as they join together in the vows of marriage. Give them grace to enjoy in marriage all of its comforts, to undergo its cares, to endure its trials, and to perform its duties, drawing beyond themselves upon your gifts of love and patience and peace. Amen. Amen. Zach, will you have Gabby to be your wife? And will you pledge yourself to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her in the holy bond of marriage? Will you? I will. And Gabby, will you have Zach to be your husband? And will you pledge yourself to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness? to live with him and cherish him in the holy bond of marriage. Will you? I will. Through Love by Rumi. Through love, bitter things seem sweet. Through love, scraps of copper are turned to gold. Through love, dregs taste like clear wine. Through love, agonies are healing balms. Through love, thorns become roses. Through love, vinegar becomes rich wine. Through love, the scaffold becomes a throne. Through love, disaster becomes good fortune. Through love, a prison becomes a rose garden. Through love, burning fire is a fragrant light. Through love, the devil becomes an angel. Through love, stones become soft as butter. Through love, grief is like delight. Through love, de demons become servants of God. 
Through love, stings are like honey. Through love, lions are harmless as mice. Through love, sickness is health. Through love, the dead are resurrected. And through love, the emperor becomes a slave. Zach and Gabby, uh, please turn and face each other and join your hands. And repeat after me your vows. Isaac, promise to be your lover and companion. Isaac, promise to be your lover and companion. Your greatest fan and your best friend. Your greatest fan and your best friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your comrade in adventure. Your comrade in adventure. Your partner in parenthood. Your partner in parenthood. Your student and your teacher. Your student and your teacher. Your consolation in disappointment. Your consolation in disappointment. Your strength when you're in need. Your strength when you're in need. And most of all, and most of all, your companion in search of enlightenment. Your companion in search of enlightenment. I, Gabby, promise to be your lover and companion. I, Gabby, promise to be your lover and companion. Your greatest fan and your best friend. Your greatest fan and your best friend. Your ally in conflict. Your ally in conflict. Your comrade in adventure. Your comrade in adventure. Your partner in parenthood. Your partner in parenthood. Your student and your teacher. Your student and your teacher. Your consolation in disappointment. Your consolation. Your strength when you're in need. Your strength when you're in need. And most of all. And most of all. Your companion in search of enlightenment. Your companion in search of enlightenment. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. Thank you. Jack, please put this ring on Gabby's hand and repeat after me. I offer this ring in remembrance of this hour. I offer this ring in remembrance of this hour. A symbol of love that is beautiful, endless, and complete. A symbol of love that is beautiful, endless, and complete. And Gabby, please put this ring on Zach's hand, repeating after me. I offer this ring in remembrance of this hour. I offer this ring in remembrance of this hour. A symbol of love that is beautiful, endless, and complete. A symbol of love that is beautiful, endless, and complete. You may like to begin. Gabby and Zach have selected another reading. This is A Blessing for a Marriage by James Dillett Freeman. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring, and may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another, and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery that is the awareness of one another's presence. No more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, 
and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it loving one another. By the authority committed to me, I declare that Zachary and Gabriella are now husband and wife. Please all rise for the blessing. <laughs> Zach and Gabby, family and friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace on this special day and on every day. Amen. 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 Scott's trying to sneak out of here, our green house. Gorgeous. So sweet. Like, this is my daughter, Marley. This is Gabriella. Hi, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for coming. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Marley. And I hope to catch up with you at the reception. Hi, honey. A lot of catching up to do. All right, see ya. Hi, hey, Linda. Come here, give me a hug. Thank you. <laughs> You want to give Gabby a hug too? Hi, this is our ring bearer as a sub. Can you say hi to the camera? Hi! Hi! Oh, sweet. Hi! 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 Oh, we should have the harp playing for this, don't you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. Oh, sweet. That's great. <laughs> oh, well, this is actually <laughs> Orlando would like this too. <laughs> okay, a few more bubbles here, please. Cue the bubbles. Close it to them. They need oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good thing my asthma is This is the best problem, man. Nice. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> bubbles, we're doing bubbles. So I'd just like to start by saying how honored I am to be giving this roast of Zach Saltzman. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, toast. I'm sorry, toast too. Toast too, right? Roast. <laughs> I think All right. Somebody so, might be one. Well. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I've known Zach for a long time, uh, since sixth grade. And uh, if you ask him, he'll say that the first time we met, he made me cry, but that's not how I remember it. So, uh, that's why this is a roast. <laughs> the way I remember it is he walked in the first day, he didn't say a whole lot for the whole day, and then he went home and he cried all night. <laughs> so, he did actually cry. Because <laughs> he thought we were like the weirdest group of kids he had ever seen. Uh, but of course, it wasn't long before he knew that we were the coolest kids he had ever seen. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, the day he punched me in the stomach, I knew we were going to be friends forever. <laughs> so, uh, what's followed is, uh, I guess it's like 15 years. Yeah, 15 years of uh, what can only be called a romance. <laughs> and uh, so I've learned a lot about that in that time. And uh, I guess I can take this opportunity to share some of the things I've learned uh, with Gabby. So that she's better prepared uh, for her life with Zach. Um, it's definitely too late to point out some things that you've obviously missed, like uh, like exactly how large his nose is. <laughs> I mean, you reaccepted it. <laughs> All your kids are gonna have that nose. <laughs> uh, I really think you guys are gonna have beautiful children, but. <laughs> I uh, turned to the internet. <laughs> and here's what we got. <laughs> so here's your, oh, your hands on. <laughs> and here's your beautiful girl. <laughs> I think she gets this double from Zach. <laughs> Here's 
No, I'm just kidding. N I J K for short. If he points out a flaw and says, no, I'm just kidding, he's not actually kidding. If he makes some physical and says, no, I'm just kidding, he's still not kidding. Pretty much anything he says, followed by no, I'm just kidding, is 100% true. <laughs> Here's the story. This is a breakdown of the time I've spent in high school. Video games was a major part of it. Hanging out at Chris's house, eating all of his food. He did go to class. He did go to class. But he paid very little attention in class. Notice that it's much smaller. Aimless driving. Lots of that. Uh, doing his own homework. It's pretty small. But copying other people's homework. <laughs> Physical activity is not very good. This area represents my inability to parcel out a pie chart. <laughs> Here's sweet, after in college. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all those activities. Thanks for my drinking. So my bubble is burst. <laughs> Andrew, I'm I told him not too. to include that slide. <laughs> well, we have bubbly right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's look at Zach's eating habits. This is Zach's dietary variety, diet variety, as a function of age. In the beginning, it was all candy. That's when I met him. It was also Slim Jims and Sunflower Seeds. <laughs> Pretty much anything you can find in a gas station. <laughs> Over time, it kind of became normal. And now we're around here. He's become vegetarian, at times vegan. He sometimes doesn't try gluten. And so I've extrapolated. And this is very accurate, I'm a scientist after all. <laughs> and what I find is that at some point, there's going to be absolutely nothing that Zach eats. <laughs> I've thought about what that might look like. Basically, Zach is tending towards the plant. <laughs> Only eating air and water. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to end... Oh, not ending yet. Alright, this is a normal chart of male hair progression. And notice that as men get more bald, they tend to gain more hair on the face. <laughs> this is hair conservation. The more bald they get, the more hair on the face. Let's look at Zach's. <laughs> Zach starts with really spiky hair. For some reason, it really spiked here and here. It looks like a little devil. Uh, as he gains more hair, he gains more hair. And notice he still gets more on his face. Continuing to get more hair, he completely violates hair conservation. And then here's my extrapolation. <laughs> this is probably five years from now. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to end with a uh, detailed diagram of Zach's brain. Very good. <laughs> so this is where our most automatic reactions are, like breathing. For Zach, this consists of laughing. <laughs> here's the candy. Here's ways to trick you with a large portion of his brain. Here's memories of embarrassing things others have done. Here's noticing something funny you just did. It's very large. Notice its direct connection to the memories of embarrassing things. Here are the last three theories he's heard. This other very tiny area is things he's learned in school. This is the highest functioning part of the human brain. Notice that it's being black at any second. Alright, and here's the That's the end of that. Alright, so that was my large oh.
and just look at her. She's beautiful inside. And just from the short time that I've known the two of them as a couple, I can see the way that they look into each other's eyes, that they are truly meant to be together. And so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. If you would please raise your glasses, I'd like to toast the bride and groom. Wishing you abundance and prosperity, adventure and radiant health, uh, treasured memories, laughter, joy, and unconditional. <laughs> <laughs> I really just want to thank everyone for being here. Um, to me, this is. I've never had so many people that I love and care about in one room. I mean, just, it's unbelievable to see my, my friends, my family, you know, people I haven't seen in ages that I miss so bad. Just people that I, you know, really care about. And it's, I'm not going to cry, so I'm going to end this real quick. And um, also, I want, you know, I'm so happy that everyone could meet my new wife. And um, also, I want to toast to you and hope that we have many, many, many years of happiness and health. Exactly. Eternity and beyond, yes. And, um, and here's to all of you, and I hope, exactly. And I, and I hope that, that we can all, you know, continue to stay in touch more and see each other more, you know? This is, I mean, it's been years since I've seen my friend Brian, for example. It's, it's crazy. So I just don't pay attention to you, right? My, my college friends, but anyone, and all my family, and, and it's also really amazing for me to see all of you guys interacting with each other. It really just warms my heart. So um, I hope, yeah. That's well, you, you, did, you, you did interrupt me telling Jenny about Little Richard's <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's sure you that's pulling sure you're fine. That's pulling my ponytail. And uh, you know what? Also, you're actually, you're the, you're the best. thank you, because you just you know, reminded me. I want to thank Deb, you, and, and all the people also who put this together. Because you guys, I mean, you did so much, and it would have been, you know, me and Gabby and a few other people in the woods getting married. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Um, it's also gotten me into a few jams, but that's what friends are for. Um, what I want to talk about with Zach, he's always been a connector. And um, without never having met Zach, I never would have met many of my closest friends. So uh, meeting him has helped me um, make a lot of very close friends. Uh, for example, he's been the catalyst for uh, six high school guys. We jokingly refer to ourselves as the Rat Pack. <laughs> and um, uh, what's interesting is earlier this week, uh, the groomsmen and the groom, we were talking about who we expected to get married first. And so we all had a prediction, and I'm not going to name names, who it was. <coughs> Chris, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but no one expected that it would be Zach. Uh, we expected somebody else. But now that I think about it, it makes perfect sense because he's such a connector. That's what he does. He brings people together. And, um, and so through the ceremony, he's invited us to connect with each other and to make a community. And thank you, Zach. And, um, and I'm sharing his love with his bride with Gabby. And so um, I think I speak for everyone when I say that we're honored to be here. We love you. And we look forward to being part of your new life together. Good luck to both of you, um, being my son and daughter. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to sit. These <laughs> shoes are killing me. <laughs> I got my patent leather shoes on. Anyway, you, know, I, you can hear me, right? There you go. Uh, no, I know. I, I, maybe I'll procrastinate a long time. Uh, anyway, I'm, I, I'm delighted. I'm delighted. I, you know, you are unbelievable, and you're, you know, the, the sheer beauty of this couple, you know, frankly, you know, uh, but what, what can I say? I, I want to tell you stuff that I just feel is, you know, just God breathed, and I did. I, I sort of wanted Zach when I, you know, sort of as he was sort of at a certain point in my life. I wanted him to become a vegetarian. I wanted him to be a believer in God. And it sort of worked out in a funny, interesting way. You know what? Uh, You'll take it. I'm telling you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I, I just I, I, you are, and, I'm, uh, and I, think you, I think you're going to be Wonderful together, because you know Zach's a good boy. He <laughs> <laughs> is, and and you know the stuff that Travis was saying, a lot of it's true, like embarrassing. And embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from you. <laughs> you embarrassing, really embarrassing things. <laughs> anyway, I I'm I'm delighted. I love you, Gabby. Oh, good. Anyway, I won't go on and on and on. I just, uh, I'd like to sing Blue Suede Shoes, but I'm <laughs> just, uh, just the first few syllables. <laughs> anyway, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you Dad. that presentation, you know I'm from New York. Yeah. And there's some guys on Solvent Sheet who are going to be visiting you later <laughs> 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 Thank you.
Are you guys ready? You guys ready?